Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish cycle, macro and high time frame Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting with the cycle bearish scenario where we're looking for a finished 5 wave impulsive structure to the upside in a wave 1, looking for a 3 wave corrective structure in a wave 2 before then impulsive continuation to the upside in a wave 3. Now the common target for a wave 2 on the lower time frames is between the 05 to the 786 which is between 420 bucks which of course is ridiculous and on the monthly time frame like you see here as well things work a little bit differently. Here price retraced to the 0 0.236 Fibonacci and that is then also a target that I would look for for a wave 2 as a maximum target sitting at about 6k not wanting to see this low taken over here at 3k. Another important thing for a wave 2 is Fibonacci times, those are the vertical lines that you see on the chart taken from the low to the high over here of this wave 1. Most commonly a wave 2 will correct to after the 0 0.382 Fib time which is sitting on September 2025 but I also put the 0 0.236 on the chart just because it is an interesting Fibonacci level and the 0 0.236 is sitting on the 1st of April 2024. If we then zoom in to this structure over here and go to the macro bearish scenario where we have a finished wave one after the most recent impulsive structure and we are looking for a bigger retracement to the downside in that red wave two, then this is what we're looking for. In wave two, we are looking for a zigzag structure to the downside here in the wave A, B, C. Target area for wave B here is between the golden pocket and the 886 which is between 39.2k and 58k after which we then want to see continuation to the downside. For this wave C to the downside which then by itself should be an impulsive structure the biggest support that we have is the golden pocket taken from the low to the all time high in confluence with the value area high of this multi year volume profile which then gives you an area between 11k and 8k. After the ABC is finished we want to see continuation to the upside in a bigger wave 3. An important support resistance area in general on the chart is this white box over here sitting between 28.7k and 32.9k. Breaking below the support resistance area and closing some weekly candles down here would be very bearish and we could be looking for a move to the downside. For now on the lower time frames we are simply looking to see if the high is in of B and we get some more weakness to the downside or if we would create one more high in this scenario before then a continuation to the downside. Inside that yellow wave B we are then looking for a three wave corrective structure to the upside in a wave A, B, C, five wave impact impulsive structure in A, 3 wave corrective sideways structure in a wave B for another impulse to the upside in a wave C. Common target for wave B is the 0 0.382 Fibonacci taken from the low to the high of this wave A and then for wave C we are looking for this target area over here between the 1 and the 1.618 which is between 40.4k and 50k. Time wise preferably wave C is finishing between the 0 0.618 and the 1.618 Fib time taken from the low to the high of A to the low of wave B comparing wave A with wave C in time and as you can see the current high that we have on the chart here is made nicely inside the FIB time area as well as inside the Fibonacci target area which is a trend-based FIB extension taken from the low to the high to the low as well. If this is the high of wave C then we are looking for an impulsive structure to the downside for more continuation meaning that with the daily updates we want to see increased probabilities for this move to the downside to be a five wave impulsive structure. We are then looking for a three wave corrective structure and another bigger impulse structure to the downside for a wave three after which we then eventually expect a wave four and another wave five and then we can turn around back towards the upside once again. If we go to the cycle bullish scenario then we are looking for multiple one twos to the upside. Wave 1 and 2 in red, 1, 2 yellow and the latest bull market in green with the latest bear market and now we are looking for the blue wave 1, blue wave 2 after which we then expect continuation to the upside once again. If we look at the target area for this wave one in time then we have to compare the previous impulses with one another in time. 
if we take a FIP time from the low to the high of wave 1 in red to the low of wave 2 to compare the red one with the yellow one, then you can see the yellow one is shorter in time, ending just before the 0 0.786 FIP time. The green bull market over here was exactly the same amount of time as the yellow bull market over here you can see the all-time high was made on top of the one to one fib time taken from the low to the high of yellow one to the low of the yellow two now with this in mind we can get an estimation of this blue wave one in time as well where of course i included the one to one which was relevant over here the 0 0.786 which was relevant over here and just for a little bit of leeway the 0 0.618 as well giving you an area between september 2024 march 2025 and october 2025 if we look at the price target for this wave one, we also have to compare the previous wave ones with one another once again. But this time we use trend based FIB extensions. Take a trend based FIB extension from the low to the high of red one to the low of red two, and you will see that the yellow wave one is shorter in price than the red wave one on the logarithmic chart. Same is true for the green wave one over here, because you can see that the green wave one hit the 0 0.618 of the yellow wave one, a trend based FIB extension taken from the low to the high of yellow to the low of this yellow wave two over here. Now, keeping this in mind as well, the 0 0.618 at both of these wave ones, we also have the 0 0.618 over here sitting at around 100k. And just for a little bit of flexibility, once again, I also put the 786 on the chart, giving you a target area between 100 and 180k, after which we then expect another bear market to the downside in the blue wave two. If we then zoom in to this structure over here and we go to the weekly time frame, the macro bullish scenario here, then we are looking for this structure. We have a finished five wave impulsive move to the upside and we have a finished wave two to the downside. Now this wave two over here is a complex structure to the downside and if I go to the daily time frame I will shortly put on the chart the count that I have for this move to the downside. Recently someone in the gold membership asked me hey if you count this correctively as a W X Y X Z how would you then count this move to the downside and this is how I count a W X Y X Z to the downside. Now it has to be said a W X Y X Z triple zigzag corrective structure is very very rare especially on the higher time frames if the low of wave two is in and we are looking for bullish continuation there is two main scenarios to keep an eye on at the moment the first one is a double one two wave one in yellow finished wave two in yellow finished and we're looking for another one two where wave one is possibly in and we are looking for a sharper correction in wave two the first wave two here in yellow retraced to the 0 0.382 Fibonacci taken from the low to the high of this wave one which is a less common target for a wave two more common for a wave b the retracement target commonly for a wave two is the 05 to the 786 area taken from the low to the high that we have here sitting between 37k and 30k so it would be nice for the second wave two to retrace inside this area as you can see we did hit the 0 0.382 once again but as mentioned less common for a wave two at 39.8k and besides the low that we have over here is made before the 0 0.382 fib time preferably a wave two is finishing after the 0 0.382 fib time taken from the low to the high of this wave one which means after the 19th of february this year now something that isn't too great about this scenario is that this second wave one is a lower degree wave one but it is a lot longer in price you can see the one to one over here taken from the low to the high to the low here comparing the yellow one with the green wave one and clearly the green wave one is longer now in a lower degree elliott wave count preferably the wave one and two are shorter in time and price compared to the previous one and two however this happens sometimes at least this second wave wave one is shorter in time compared to the first wave one so that is something that is positive this scenario also works very nice with these volume profiles over here of this big range we have a big support resistance area at the lower end of the range between 30k and 32k we had support support resistance 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 eventually closed the candle inside increasing probabilities to move to the point of control 
closing above the point of control increasing the probabilities to move to the value area high beautiful rejection at the value area high in confluence with the golden pocket taken from the high to the low over here very important level of course and then a rejection to the downside finding support on that point of control now in this scenario as we are looking for a three-way structure to the downside preferably we're going to move below the point of control but what is interesting is that the target area for this wave two is in confluence with this big support resistance area between 30 and 32k now it really depends on the local price section if price could even make it this low but nonetheless it is interesting to be aware of another bullish scenario on the chart here is an impulse structure that is not yet finished here we are looking for one two three four and eventually a wave five ending wave one and we look for a three wave corrective structure in a wave two now what lowers the probabilities of this impulsive scenario compared to the double one two i just showed is time look how big this structure is in time and also if you compare it in time with the previous bullish wave one here where we take a fibonacci time from the start to the end of this wave one and we then compare it with the wave one that we have at the moment then currently where price is right now it's already more than double the length in time compared to this structure over here and we're not even finished right we're then still looking for a wave four preferably this wave four is ending after the zero dot a 3a2 fib time over here taken from the high of one to the end of wave two to the top of wave three to compare two with four the 3a2 is sitting on the 4th of march 2024 after this wave four we are then looking for a move to the upside in wave five so you can imagine that this wave one is going to be very very long compared to previous wave ones of the same degree which lowers the probabilities for this scenario but nonetheless it's not yet invalidated hence we keep an eye on it now for this wave four the common target areas the 3a2 to the 05 taken from the low to the high of wave three and an invalidation for the wave four is hitting this 0.618 at 34.1k now commonly a wave four is longer in time than wave two however the rule of alternation applies here as well because wave two is very shallow hitting the 0.3a2 long in time and also complex in a running flat here the probabilities do increase for this wave four to be shorter in time simple and also deep now then we look for this wave 5 to the upside, interesting areas between 51.9k and 56.5k, after which we then expect a move towards the downside in a wave 2. Another area of interest is the monthly gap, which is in confluence with the target area for this wave 5. This monthly gap over here on the monthly chart has been touched twice once over here for a bigger rejection now we came back once again it does increase the probabilities a little bit to fill it but what is more important is that we get up here for a third time coming up here once again and you really increase the probabilities to move to the higher edge of this gap at 53.3k so if we then summarize pretty much what we are looking for here on the weekly time frame in both the bullish and the bearish scenario then in the bearish scenario we are of course looking for the end of a wave c follow the yellow line right one two and then a bigger three towards the downside while in the bullish scenario we are looking for a finished wave one not a wave two and then continuation we're following the yellow line preferably lower price action to come right and also ending after the 0.382 fib time and in the second bullish scenario preferably we're finishing a wave four after the 0.382 and then eventually we get a wave five so potentially one more high and a move towards the downside and if we then look at the probabilities of the different scenarios then on the cycle time frame which is the monthly time frame the probabilities are neutral it's also such a high time frame there is so much much that can happen in the meantime but if you look at the bullish and the bearish scenarios then there is in both cases something that isn't that great in the bullish scenario we have a triple one two setup which on such a high time frame is not that common and in the bearish scenario wave two and wave four well wave two is longer in time than wave four which is also something that's not really common so there's definitely something to say over here about hey let's just keep an eye on the lower time frames and eventually we will get to the probabilities either bullish or bearish on the cycle time frame
When we then zoom in to the weekly time frame, which is the macro time frame, right? Probabilities are a little bit higher for the bearish scenario. That's mainly because of this corrective structure to the downside, having the highest probability being a WXY. But funny enough, it's a very rare corrective structure, more so on the higher time frames. But counting this as an ABC doesn't work nicely. And also, this as a WXY is ridiculous. So, yeah, WXY, very rare, therefore slightly bearish. But we need to see local weakness, of course. And at the moment, locally, there is definitely no confirmation on the high time frame which is the daily time frame this move to the upside we are looking for the first bullish scenario the double one two or the bearish scenario because this retracement over here this range bounced on the 0 0.382 which is more common for a wave b compared to a wave 2 it automatically increases the probabilities a little bit for an abc but what i mentioned earlier we need to see local weakness before thinking about prices that really go down that low so by all means both are still very much a possibility and we continue to observe the local price action with the daily updates currently we are looking for a corrective structure in an ABC or WXY for continuation or possibly an impulse to the downside in a wave 1, 2 and a wave 3 but as explained during the daily updates as well currently we are looking for a quite similar structure in both the bullish and the bearish scenario and only when we get a second leg to the upside will we know more. I hope that this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the most recent educational video about the best trading indicator you can use in my opinion, which is the CVD. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'd like to see you at the next one. Bye bye.